So my name is Noah, on, on YouTube I'm known as Big No-No. If I'm being honest, I, I genuinely, I sincerely don't know what I'm doing on this platform anymore. You know, when I first started YouTube, I knew exactly what I was starting for. Like exactly. My vision for posting, my, my reasons for posting, they were so clear even though I was in a muddled time in my life. But, but the intention and the action was so genuinely pure. And it centered around depression and anxiety and depersonalization and testosterone replacement therapy. I have been absurdly outspoken about my mental health issues and I'm grateful for that. Being able to speak about that has been tremendously useful and powerful for me and I know I've been able to make a difference for other people. And so when I had the breakdown in 2011, massive mental breakdown, I've, I've spoken about it at nauseum, but there's always new viewers. I was a mess for a long time, found out I had low testosterone, I started recording. The whole goal was, will I ever get better? I don't, I don't know, I, kinda, I didn't really think so. I was in a treatment resistant depression, suicidal, depersonalized, which meant I was in a dreamlike state. I was suffering from just crippling anxiety. I was living with my parents. I was weak. I was flaccid. I, I was lethargic. I was apathetic. I was all the things. I was a mess. I mean, it was the bottom. And I hit record when I was at the bottom. My name is Noah, and I've decided to start a mood journal um, because I have just begun testosterone replacement therapy for the last two weeks uh, since finding out I had low testosterone. I have been searching YouTube for other people uh, who have had the same, but if you have ever been through major depression, anxiety, uh, what's called a depersonalization disorder, and especially if you've ever been through um, these things in conjunction with low testosterone, I guess this video is for you. I, I did it because I was so scared that I was going to die, and when I found out via blood work, by chance, that I had extremely low testosterone. It was the first time I had a glimmer of hope that maybe I would be okay. And that was a very loose maybe. The idea behind filming was to maybe find one person that understood the despair that I was in. Just one. When I started this channel, it was not for fame. It was not for money. It wasn't for followers. It was to find one person who might be experiencing what I'm going through, not so I could tell them what was up, so to speak, or, or what to do, but maybe they could tell me that I wasn't crazy, which I felt inherently with my mental health issues. And beyond that, that, that maybe I would be okay. That was it. And I did that. I posted a ton of videos and I realized how incredibly cathartic it was to talk about what it was like to obsess like me, to struggle with sleep like me, to be as depressed as I was. What did depression feel like for me? It just felt good to get this shit off my chest. And it felt even better to hear from you guys. It felt so good. It is likely the most meaningful thing that I will have ever contributed to the world, sharing my mental health struggles and then my journey through them and my TRT journey. And let's see if I make it. Let's see if I survive. Let's see if I get better. But the truth is, I, I did get better. We did it. Somewhere in there, it became less about look at my journey with depression and anxiety and low testosterone and just kind of more about not wanting to lose you guys and liking your attention. We've seen my arc. Depression, low T, treated the low T, dialed that in, took years, talked about it, but now I'm stable. I have nothing has changed about my testosterone in forever. Depression wise, I haven't been dangerously severely depressed in a really long time and I never thought that would be possible and I'm so thankful for that. I'm so grateful for that and I'm so happy and fulfilled that I've been able to share that with you. But you know, sometimes my mood is better, sometimes my mood is, is a little worse, lifestyle changes, uh, I have addiction issues, I talk about that, I get sober, everything's going good, I, I share about it, oh I relapse or my mental health relapse and I talk about it and I, I just think 
I just think we've done it all now. Haven't we? What's the point? My wife pointed something out to me which was really tough to hear. Um, but when I was in treatment, she pointed out that she notices when I'm doing worse, views kind of improve here. And when I'm doing better, less people watch, and she wonders if there's a, a negative correlation, a subconscious self-sabotaging angle to my life when it comes to that. And she might be right. Another thing, uh, which I don't wanna lie, it's been, it has been hard. Every time I post a video anymore, every single one of these dips, this is, these are my subscribers from March 12th to April 8th, every time I post, I lose subscribers. I try not to take that personal, but it is instructive that I don't really know why people follow me anymore. And it would kind of make sense if I'm sitting here in so many words telling you, I don't really know why I post anymore. Not really. And I kind of find myself wanting to reinvent myself on YouTube and I feel like I can't on this channel. I somehow became a bit of a face for serious topics and mood disorders and a vulnerable voice for men. And, and I do think that all is a part of who I am, but I kind of just feel like the walls have been closing in on that being who I am online. Thousands of people still tune in, but I, it's not like I'm killing it on views. It's not like I'm dropping content that people really need to see. It's like, I'm just kind of posting because I'm used to posting and I have an alert system that goes off saying, you haven't posted. I don't just want to be the guy who, who talks about depression, who shares every time his mood dips, who's always saying the same thing about his TRT, which hasn't changed in forever. There's so much more to my life. There's so much more to who I am. I mean, there's so much laughter and light and love and humor and fitness and jokes and friendships and meals and, and, and other, there's so much else. In, that I care about. The idea of like in five years, six years or something like that, the idea of still talking about depression and anxiety, not that it goes away, not that the community doesn't need uh, 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 you know, people to, to, to speak up or addiction or whatever. I'll always speak up about it when I truly feel like it's pertinent, but to routinely be chatting about it, I, I, I see what my wife is saying. I, I see how that could be potentially problematic and keep me in a frame of mind that I've outgrown largely, which is, was the whole purpose, which, which was the prayer, which was the hope, which was the goal. And this is not a cry for help, like I'm struggling, I'm in trouble. It's just something I've been talking to my wife about and something I've been feeling. Uh, and, and I want you to know that I don't think I would ever shut this channel down forever. I think that would be a little melodramatic. I maybe would post less, or I might try some new things that maybe people won't like. And I I just wanted to share that with you. But I want to thank you for being here, particularly those who have just seen me through so much, uh, allowed me to share my life. I, I'm deeply honored and I'm very thankful. We did it. And that is the good news. That is the good news for anyone that may be struggling with depression, anxiety, low T, self-loathing, apathy, self-esteem problems, addiction, is that... While my journey hasn't been squeaky clean, as no, one, as no one's journey is, we did accomplish what we set out to accomplish. I was a broken, tired, suicidal, dangerously depressed man. Dangerously depressed man. I started recording videos. I found out I had low T. I shared my life with you. And in general, I got better. Didn't get perfect, but I got better. I'm still here. And I have a lot of good times and good days. And... It's nothing like it was. So the arc for this channel, it kind of happened. The, my character arc happened. And I think when that, when that arc sort of ended, there wasn't really much left to do. And that's when I think content started getting different or worse or just more, I don't know, something. I mean, if people are unsubscribing every time I post a video, it's just, it's a message. Maybe it's time to bow out or reinvent yourself or start a new channel doing something fucking different. I don't know. Quarantine's given me a lot of time to think. You've blessed me for many years with feedback and, and, and sharing your experiences and, and reaching out to me in the comment section below. So please, I would love to hear from you.
I love hearing from you. And we'll see you guys whenever I see you, however I see you. All right, thank you guys for your time. This felt really good.